Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk more about DC and the DCEU and Ezra Miller. Mostly we're going to talk about Ezra Miller, but just an update to the video we did earlier today. They had the big meeting. They had the earnings call with, uh, you know, HBO Max and DC and all these rumors. Basically everything that was rumored, almost everything that was rumored happened, mm -hmm. that was announced. Um, details were pretty sparse, but there is a 10 year plan for DC and it probably involves a reboot. Again, details are sparse at the moment. Uh, what was not announced is the cancellation of The Flash with Ezra Miller. And a lot of people are clamoring for this movie to be canceled. I, I suspect it might be or substantially uh, altered or something because uh, Ezra Miller is apparently a cult leader. A apparently, <laughs> apparently a cult leader. So we kind of wonder, we kind of wondered what was going on with Ezra. We still don't know where Ezra is currently, but according to reports that have come out in the last couple days, uh, Ezra Miller is paranoid, wears body armor has guns everywhere and alleged victims compare him to a cult leader uh i've been seeing the headlines today now some of this i thought was salt over batgirl getting canceled and the flash still apparently being a thing but um yeah so let's let's talk more about ezra miller we haven't talked about ezra miller in in what two weeks i don't know nobody knows. nobody uh, did anybody even know where he is i don't even know you said he they i'm sorry i'm distracted I'm like, I want another story behind this line. It goes up his nose and then up his head. Is he like picking his nose and then rubbing it up his head? Or I'm sure a lot of comes lines. down his hair and then go up his nose. I'm just, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by that. I'm sure I'm a sorry, lot. Their of, nose. I'm sure a lot of lines have, has have gone up their noses. <laughs> One nose, two. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna talk about this. Uh, Miller accused of running a cult out of an Airbnb in Iceland. <laughs> just, just, just stop and think about that for a moment. He's running a cult. They are running a cult. No, you can say he. Out of an Airbnb. Or they were running a cult. Yeah. So out this, of an Airbnb. So this this is why he was in Iceland before when he uh, they, they attacked allegedly, a person. Uh, you know, you can't have they without he. So there we there go. There you go. Um, yeah. So apparently this is why he was in Iceland. They were in Iceland when, whatever, uh, they slammed the woman. Is it she or they? I don't know. When one person that dresses up like the Flash and is batshit crazy slammed the persons with the vagina, the birthing persons, this is why <laughs> this person, this singular person, is in Iceland to run a effing cold out of an effing Airbnb. <laughs> God, they're going to make a movie about this someday, but it's I probably not going to be on HBO Max because uh, I don't think it's going to be it's around. It's a lifetime movie. It's a lifetime movie. Let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 273,000 subs. Are we tired of talking about Ezra Miller? I know yet? I am. Uh, why is this? Why is the Flash movie still a thing? I don't know. That's what people want to know because it's like you got rid of you know Batgirl, but you're still going to go with the head of Flash. Yeah. So we do talk a lot about comics. Speaking of comics. Really quick, guys, uh, if you want to support independent comics, we are going to be launching a campaign for Crimson Wren Volume 1 on Indiegogo. Probably next week, I'm thinking. Probably next week. We just got to finalize some, some pricing issues here. Uh, but this is the prequel to Shadowbinders. This is a book that is uh, almost 10 years in, in the making. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, the story is by Geeky. Geeky and I worked on the script together. The art is by Jose Garcia. It is an incredibly beautiful book. And uh, we can't wait to share it with you. So you can support independent comics. You don't have to buy, buy DC Comics. Nope. Uh, so let's talk about this. Uh, I, I saw it uh, saw it going around. And uh, I'm like, okay, this just seemed like a recap of everything that Ezra Miller has done up to present. All the crazy stuff. There are many, many videos and many, many articles out there about all the crazy stuff Ezra Miller has done over the last couple of years. But now we have new details about what went down in Iceland. Right In 2020, the world first learned of Miller's increasingly erratic behavior when a video showed Miller choking a woman in Iceland, uh, but their time in Iceland was more eventful and disquieting than even that video would suggest. Get ready for this. Get ready for this. I'm, I'm grabbing my butt. Grab your ass, because Ezra's coming. <laughs> I don't hide want... your children. Hide your <laughs> yeah, guns. Hide your children. Hide, your children. <laughs> hide all the teenagers, all the teenage girls. 
Ezra Miller is coming to town. During the two months Miller spent in Iceland, rumors spread among the locals that the actor was running a cult out of an Airbnb. Permanent residents described him as an aggressive person with a revolting smell who rarely changed out of their clothes. Three people recalled Miller walking barefoot through not even gonna some try. town in Iceland, Reykjavik. I'm not even going to try. Noting long, unclipped toenails Ugh. and what may have been an infected gash on their foot. Ugh. It's from all that running. I'm sorry. Blah. The Airbnb, a house in Reykjavik, a suburb of Kapuki, Vingen, don't, don't even try because you're um, just going to insult somebody. Um, you probably um, just swore at somebody. I, I am, I am uh, a quarter Scandinavian, so this is my roots. I can, I can, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to botch their language. No, you're not. And and honestly, you probably just called someone's mom something. You I probably have. did. Um. I misgendered somebody's mother. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it was, it was described by one visitor as a commune with beds laid out on the floor. Miller collected a community of artists, expatriates, and beautiful young women. Yeah, but if he stunk and had, I'm sorry, they stunk and had long toenails and an infected gash on their foot, why are these women all over him? Them. These women were said to hang on his every word. It felt like everyone was hypnotized. <laughs> hypnotized. <laughs> Miller led group meditations and claimed to possess supernatural oh, powers. Is, that is like the least shocking thing about this article so far. He also paid for food. He. He. Well, they said he they before. He. Oh, my God. See, it's not just me. They also paid for food, lodging, and marijuana. I can't imagine drugs being involved in this. Once handed, I think, it, I think it's much harder than marijuana. Yeah, once handed a musician the equivalent of fifteen hundred bucks for his birthday. Oh my God, how how dare Miller give somebody birthday money? But Miller would become enraged at dissent. Nobody was ever allowed to disagree with them. Oh shocker! I'm paying for you to agree with me. Um, is this because Miller has split personalities? Is that why? I don't know. Said a young woman who'd known Miller in Iceland and had a brief sexual relationship with them when well, she who turned hasn't he slept with? 18. Uh, men. But you know, men. He, has, he hasn't slept with men that we know of. Well, no, I thought he was supposed to be. I thought he was supposed to be non binary but, but, gender but fluid. Wait, 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 wait. Another 18 year old. Not, yep. But I'm like, you just got to saying that he stunk. I'm sorry, they stunk and then they didn't change their clothes. Uh, okay. I'm trying not to puke. Their reality painted everybody else's reality. Blech. There was no room for anybody else's opinion or feelings. One person recalled Miller cornering them in the house saying, you don't like my hospitality and claiming to be able to read her mind. The actor also flew into a rage when she attempted to use her phone. She said she snuck away and texted her family to pick her up. I was a bit traumatized for a while. She recalled, it was one of the weirdest days I've ever experienced. Another woman stayed with Miller for six days. My ego was thriving. Oh, I misread that as throbbing. Well, I'm sure there were... Oh, yeah, slept with this one, too. Yeah, oh, my God. Oh, my God. She said, adding that she was really lost at the time and abused drugs and alcohol. The first time, the first time they had sex was a threesome with another young woman. Where are the men? I thought you were non-binary, gender fluidical. I thought that, that Ezra was supposed, to, was supposed to like men. I thought at men... At one point. Ezra was trans, non-binary, fluidical. After that, Ezra basically said, my room is your room. This is where you're going to stay. And I was like, cool. Oh, my God. You're going to stay in my bed and uh, help me, uh, uh, I don't know, clip my toenails. Not very often, though. At one moment, they would look me in the eye and be like, I love you. And be this really nice, beautiful person. But right afterwards, they would tell me I was effing disgusting. So a lot of psychological abuse coming from Ezra Miller. Oh, my God. Abuse from Ezra Miller? Shocking. Ezra's a beautiful person that stinks. <laughs> Ezra, that should be the title of the video. Ezra Miller stinks. <laughs> Ezra was super manipulative. Manipulative. They kind of had us all under their fingers. Finger. Fingers. How many fingers does, Apparently does there's multiple, a lot of people. Does multiple Ezra Millers have? They were able to twist and pull. Everything I knew about the world. See, you thought I was going someplace else. You thought I was going someplace else. After six days... Miller left town and the woman returned to her apartment where her roommate gave her <laughs> literature on cults. Reading about leaders who promised spiritual or material wealth while simultaneously cutting people off from family, she realized it was the exact same thing I was in with Ezra. And that really scared me. It was only six days, but felt way, way longer. 
I remember feeling like, wow, I don't know how I'm going to recover from this. Apparently they recovered. From uh, they're talking about how the same thing is kind of going on now in Vermont oh, on the farm with the kids and the woman and the drugs Hopefully and the guns the kids. and the sheeps and the cows and the chickens. That's, that's sleeping with the cows and the chickens. The cows. Yeah. Those animals don't deserve that. That they, the cows and the chickens d identify as pigs uh, and they're all doing marijuana and <laughs> shooting each why. other with guns. That's why they're identifying as pigs. Anyway. They're um, all shooting each other and eating each other. Oh my God. The animals are just eating each other. It's a whole lot of eating of each other uh, going on at Ezra Okay. Miller's okay. Farm. Okay. I just caught what you said. I'm sorry. I so, was reading things and I was like, oh my God. Did he just say that? So this is just like, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't even know what to say. Like, look. Warner Brothers has had a major problem with Ezra Miller for years. Warner Brothers is aware of the issues. They have been aware of the issues with Miller. They refuse to do anything about Miller. Um, they're like, oh, they're getting they're getting Miller help. No, I no, don't think they not. were. Uh, people, I know that some people that have worked with Miller have come out and said, yeah, you know, they're they're sad. They don't know this isn't this isn't Ezra Miller. Uh, what happened to Ezra? Um, lots of people think they're better than Ezra at this point. Um, <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take you to... I, I got to sneak that in every... I was wondering, I was wondering how long it would take you to get to that point. This is, I mean, this is legitimately insane. I mean, the warning signs were all there. This has been going on for years and nobody's doing anything. And we all know where Ezra Miller currently is. And last, I don't know. So he, it might be somewhere that people know about now. Who knows? The last we heard about Ezra Miller that I'm aware of, Ezra Miller was going to transcend reality, and to, which sounds very much like Heaven's Gate. Yeah. You know, like we're all going to uh, drink the Kool-Aid, literally, and then we're going to transcend into the UFO or whatever the hell is going on. Ezra Miller needs to be... Uh, uh, evaluated, locked up. The Flash needs to be canceled. That is actually the least. That is the no, least. No, they canceled the TV show instead. They canceled the TV show instead. The, yes, the TV show gets canceled. But Ezra Miller, I mean, if there ever was a case to cancel a person for problematic behavior, my God. Yeah. There it is. Right there. All of him. Them. Them. They. All, all the Ezra Millers. So, I don't know. We're going to wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.